Hey, Jimmy, um, you've obviously played through it, but how's your ankle holding up after all this? Uh, a little bit sore. I'll be okay. Some treatment um, and, and get ready to go again. Uh, I think um, I got to be ready to go. So we'll see how it feels tomorrow, but I'm going to be fine. Next question, Mateo Mayorga. Hey, Jimmy. You've talked about how every night this team can feature a different star, but now in the midst of uncertainty regarding the status of your teammates, Bam Adebayo and Goran Dragic, do you feel it's incumbent upon you to take more of a role scoring the ball? Uh, I mean, just take what the game gives me for the most part. I still have a lot of belief in all of my teammates. I will continually play that way. Um, but, yeah, maybe so. Maybe try to score a little bit more, but I still got to – make sure that everybody else is getting their touches and, and getting the shots that they need because we've been playing this way all year long and, and that's our formula to success. Thank you. Rachel? Part of what got away from you guys in the second quarter was the rebounding and obviously when they play both their bigs. How do you battle that? Um, you just got to be tougher. Um, we got to put up more of a fight. I don't think that we did that. Um, and then it doesn't help whenever we don't make shots. Um, it's been that way all year long whenever we Start to miss a couple of shots. We don't do what we're supposed to do on the other end. Um, so, you know, I think we should always think about then our defense, for sure, our rebounding uh, started off for us. And then, you know, hopefully we start to make shots. Malika? I, I know he's not your favorite Dragic brother, but you're very close <laughs> with Goran. To watch him kind of go down like that, to fight to stay out there, to want to come back in the game, to not be able to come back in the game, how, how do you support him? How do you let him lean on you right now? Just let him know that I and we are here for him. We know how much he wants to win, how much he wants to go to war and battle with this. Um, and obviously, we love him for that, and we want him out there with this. But, um, you know, whatever the docs tell him to do, that's, that's what he got to do. I understand that he wants to go out there and compete. And obviously, we, we want him out there with us. But uh, he, he got to take care of himself first. Next question, Manny Navarro. Hey, Jimmy, uh, K-Nun went in there and, and played really well uh, for you guys with those 18 points. Just how encouraging is that, especially for a guy who's been waiting and, and hungry and dying to get in there? Uh, that's what he does. He stayed ready. Um, he's always working on his game, um, and he's, he's in it to win it. Whenever his number and name's called, he's ready to play. He knows the schemes, um, and it, it looks like he's, he's going to be in this rotation. I sure hope so because he, he definitely showed what he can do on the big stage tonight. Next question, Nick Friedel. Jimmy, you guys have prided yourself all season as being a no-excuse team. What do you feel like you need to say to the rest of the group now, knowing that you got two of your main guys uh, down, at least for a little bit? Nothing. We, we talk about how damn near perfect that we have to play, and that was nowhere near it. Um, there's nothing to be said. We can watch all the film in the world. We understand, we know what we did not do, what we talked about we were going to do, we didn't do. We didn't rebound. Um, we didn't make them miss any shots. We didn't get back. All of those things uh, led to the deficit that we dug our, put ourselves in. Next question, Jarrett Weiss. Jimmy, sorry to tell you this, but there's a wide reporting now that Goran has a torn plantar fascia, so it's unlikely he'd be able to return. So what, do you, what does the team need to do now to rally with him? I'm likely to be back. Um, be ready to go with or without going. We're still expected to win. We still know that we can. Um, like I said earlier, we want that guy out there with us. He's a big part in what we're trying to do. But until we can't have him back, we got to go out there and we got to fight even harder. Um, we got to try to cover up what he gives us and, and make up for it. We're capable of it. We have to be capable of it. Um, moving forward with or without going, we better hurry up and tie it up 1-1. Next question, Andres Lopez. Thank you. Jimmy, they kind of referenced it in a previous question, but I also wanted to ask you a bit about Kendrick Nunn, but not only Kendrick, but also the rest of the supporting cast. We saw Solomon Hill get a few minutes to it today. DJ got a few minutes today. In the absence of two of the main pieces of your starting lineup, can you speak about the readiness of the supporting cast of the Miami Heat and how they stepped up tonight? Uh, they did well. They did great. Um, and we appreciate them for going out there and competing, knowing the schemes, um, the one guy strengths on the opposing team, uh, but they know that they know that any any day, any quarter, any any minute, 
coach could call on them and they're expected to produce and, and know what they're doing out there. Um, but they're pros. They've been going about this the right way all year long. We're going to need those guys to, to really get back in this thing.